In this video, we're going to learn why rays pass straight through the center of a lens. So suppose you're doing some ray tracing, minding your own business, and you know that one of the easiest rays to draw, probably the easiest rays to draw from an object to an image is a ray that goes straight through the lens because you probably learned that that ray should just pass right on through. But why is that? And is that always the case? Well, let's try and figure this out. So what exactly is happening near the center of the lens? Let's zoom in on it a little bit. So we've got one lens surface, which because we're near the center is only very slightly curved like this. We've got our second surface, which is only slightly curved like this because we're pretty close to the center. And then we've got a ray that let's say comes in at a certain angle. So let's say it's coming in at like this angle, for example. Or let's draw it a little lower in the interest of knowing what's going to happen next. Now, when this ray hits the first surface of the lens, it will get refracted through. So it will bend a little bit so that it's got a sh more shallow angle than it did before. And I'm assuming that the lens is made out of a material that's of greater refractive index than the surrounding material. So the ray will look something like this. And if we've drawn things correctly, it should pass right through the center of the lens. Now, I'm going to draw this a little more exaggerated so that we can clearly see what's going on. So we've got a ray coming in, let's say at a very steep angle, and then it gets refracted, and then it comes out. Now, in reality, we see that something has happened here. So the ray isn't actually passing, it, it does pass straight through the center, but when it comes out, it gets deflected a little bit. So if I were to draw this accurately, I might draw, you know, my input ray looks something like this. It's coming in above the lens. And my output ray is coming out at the same angle, but it's down a little further. So this is actually what happens when a ray passes through a lens. But if we make our favorite approximation, the thin lens approximation, then we take the distance that this ray propagates to be equal to zero. And in that case, that just means that it's going to get refracted off the first interface, refracted off the second interface. But because this distance we're taking to be zero, or at least much smaller than everything else involved in our system, then there's no shifting of the beam. This is exactly the same type of thing that happens when you send a beam through just a plate of refractive index n, or in this case, it's more accurately represented by a tilted plate, because initially the surface is slightly tilted this way, and as we come out, the surface is still tilted the same way, so the ray hits surfaces that look like this each time, and this will just shift the ray. If the thickness of this is equal to zero, then the shifting amount of the ray is also equal to zero. And so in the thin lens approximation, a ray does go straight through the center of the lens. In the th if we have to deal with thick lenses, then our rays will get shifted a little bit from the in input to the output of the lens, or from the front surface to the back surface of the lens. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated, and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind-the-scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like-minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.